Hey everyone, my name is Rush59 and welcome back to Alone in the Dark. Last episode will be linked in the description. Let's go. Yes. Wow, what's on the library? I live here, I'm used to that. So it's just like, oh, cool, it's just an entrance to understand, you know. You know, it's nothing major. Hmm. What? Okay, that's. We're just gonna pick that up. Alright, cool. Oh, we get the shed now. The bulk coach, yes. And I see the rest of the hose. Yes. I think they're looking at. <sighs> Got it. What the hell was that? I only have six bullets. Don't do it. I got seven, but don't, don't do it. I just can't do anything with seven. Oh, that hurts a lot. Yay. I don't know what I'm tightening it with, but alright. What the hell that is. We're gonna play, yes. Why does the why when it is always a creepy house, the wind just sounds terrifying? Like, is that just me? Like, I feel like that only happens when the house is creepy. Finally, goddamn. Looks like some rot. It's another plate for the Like the other one, it's broken and missing some pieces. You know, Mr. Waits, I saw a piece of the plate that Liza broke. I think she's been hiding them. She's not very good at it. She just chucked it into the little room with all the tools behind the boiler. I left it there. I didn't want to embarrass her by picking it up while she was looking. We went upstairs instead and played backgammon. I let her win, because she's so unhappy. The piece looked like the one on display in Cassandra's room. You know about that one already, right? Or is your eyesight really that fuzzy? I hope you don't feel bad about your glasses. You only look stupid when you squint. Maybe Damn. if you had more eyes, you would see these things. I wish you had all the eyes you needed. Your best and favorite guest, Grace. Oh, geez, that's just... My mom went into a creepy place. All right. This picture on a dude with, like, 50 eyes on his face. Ugh. Oh. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't. You. I, Mr. Hartwood is nowhere near my for... kitchen, and neither should you be. Don't let me kick you out to... of this house. Sorry. Now get out. Yeah. 
All right, that's one crazy bitch. All right, we're not gonna. We're just gonna leave. We have to get past her room. I guess to see what's in there. Because she's hiding something. Does that sound like a cat, dying cat in there? And I obviously want to investigate it. Mm. I need the key. Actually, I'm gonna go see if that's for a clock. Yes. We need one more. Let's see if we can actually solve this somehow. Thank you. <sighs> Got it. God. Damn, that took forever. Ah. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Some magnets? Whoa. What the hell, man? What the hell is going on? Exactly. Just exactly. I think I've seen this somewhere. There was something in the commonplace book about this. I just give me a second. I got this. There we go. I think the clock broke. Or maybe it just stopped at a very precise place. Three, four, nine. What else need a combination? There we go. There's a picture in the black glass. It's showing me something. It's the hallway outside Jeremy's room. I kind of don't want to go in this after what the hell just happened. Gotta shut no Oh shit. Oh I'm not liking this anymore. What? Huh. I made it. I entered another one of Jeremy's memories. Oh man, it's destroyed. Put you on the side the Still in the walls? Like is this just a shop side of things? May 1923. Monday. All okay. Ready for delivery. Maintenance. Oil pump must be serviced. Any tampering causes large spills unless properly forestalled. Tuesday. Shipment delayed but delivered. Maintenance. Service bridge close to broken. Wednesday. Prospectors reluctantly agreed to show the burial mound to Mr. Hopwood, the painter, who read about our finds in the papers. He means to return tomorrow and try to find a way inside. Thursday. Mr. Hopwood's efforts delayed. The workers seemed nervous about his presence. Hopwood promised not to return to the compound. Instead, he has taken up an offer by L'Officier, the riverboat captain, who means to pilot him to the site tomorrow morning. Hopefully, that's the end. Work can resume. Maintenance. The bridge from the oil tower to the bayou has collapsed. Sabotage suspected. This is the devil that guides us now. Hmm. Okay. He's gonna say that so creepily. Like, he could have been like, oh, you know, that's just the devil that guides us now. And, and like, except for, sound like you never drunk water in freaking three weeks. Locked. Hmm. Yeah, I 
Alright, we actually have a lot of bullets, so that's good. There's definitely alligators in there, I'm not even gonna lie. I got pipes in here, really weapons too. Yes! We have a decent amount of ammo. Oh my god! Uh, uh, die! Oh thank god. Jesus. As I was saying, we have a lot of ammo. Uh, let's see what we're doing with things like crawl. Nice. They seem like they're a little weaker than things we're doing last time. It worked. Why would you have any doubt about it? Why did you stop? What happened? something to break it. Explains the noise. All right, moving on. Hey,
on the way to the literally. side. That's Mound Jeremy talked about in this book. Are we have to kill it? Don't come any closer. I'm okay. armed. Get that thing out of my face. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm just a detective trying to find something called Tarawea. You're after Jeremy, too? Why? I'm working for his niece. She wants to make sure he's all right. He might be unharmed, but far from all right. He's a curse upon DeSeto. How are you doing? Here we go again. Quiet. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thank you. 
Reflections on the Power of the Verb in Certain Texts by Juan Luis Jorge. To act is in itself divine. Even the slightest movement of our hand is evidence of our soul in motion. Yet our free will is so easily overwhelmed by the dullness of everyday life. Our actions become rote and rigid, in spite of luxury and comfort. True divinity is found in the choice of leaving the stage where we all perform. People who discover this freedom unexpectedly will be struck by the terror of this revelation and become paralyzed, or worse, turn to suicide. However, if you are able to weather that storm, you will discover that there is a divine path beyond that fear. There is a chance to dismount your destiny and make something new. Something that hasn't been planned for or predestined. There is difficulty in explaining this type of acting as it transcends our everyday choices. This isn't some banal decision choosing one career over the other, or even who I should marry. Leaving the stage, no matter how, isn't a matter of course correction. It's a rejection of the story that the creator is telling. Please tell me I got this. Ooh. Please, 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 please. Come on. Yeah, let's pull it from class. Damn it. Right, what was that key for? It. Sitting in key. We're all fucking bloody now after going through all that. And Emily's gonna be like, the hell happened to you? I'm just gonna be like, alive. I don't wanna know. Okay, we actually go in here now. Something missing. Oh, wait. oh yeah, we need to go to the sound room. This must be that kid's room. Why does she seem so familiar? Don't you worry, Grace. Go play your game, bleat and bellow with the others. I won't be jealous. There will be more masquerades. However, I would love it if you would finish my mask for the feast. With love, Ruth. Jack in the box. somewhere. I remember you, Mr. Conby. From where? Don't touch that. Cassandra wouldn't like it. She wouldn't like it at all. Do you know where she is? I'd rather not talk about it. It makes me upset. Besides, she'll be back after the Feast of St. John. You think? Yep. It's all on the page, Mr. Conby. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. All right. I'm gonna go now, if that's okay. I don't like to stay too long in the same place. Mr. McCoffey might find me. Hey. Is he mean to you? Not everyone needs to be saved, Mr. Conby. You should know that by now. So this is where Cassandra Beauregard ended up. For some reason, I thought she died years ago. 
If I find the full set of bottles, then maybe I can make something out of the stains of rot. I don't think I have everything I need. It's another one of those strange padlocks. Miss Beauregard, I picked up your medicine at the post office today. As you understand, it needs to be administered by the orderlies for your safety. I have put the box in Lottie's room for now, and I'm sure she will find you as soon as possible. Mr. Waits. Drink that, damn it. There's no way I can get into this thing. Better leave it alone. Wait, we might have a chance we can, but this is what I'm thinking. One, ten, eleven. Saw your notice in the boiler room. You should know Mr. Chance won't be coming back. I got no business being in there myself, but. You can take a valve from the wine cellar if you wanna try to stop the steam pouring out. Be careful. Why am I stuck in here? Why am I stuck in here? Oh, wrong door. Jesus! Went shut. Oh, there we go. It worked. The Barlow lens. Instructions. To double the magnification of your telescope, simply fit this Barlow lens to your instrument. Then operate the fine tuners to adjust the distance between your lenses. This is easily done while looking through your eyepiece. Simply search for a position where your picture is clear and appears flat. When correctly tuned, your telescope should present a clear picture with magnificent magnification. Okay, so gonna... Cellar key, that might be how we get to the basement. What's this? I think I have everything I need. Now we're talking. Damn straight. I was expecting that. All right. Yes. I see. Left the valve in here. Let it. I just blew a fuse. Oh, I knocked the lights out. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Please tell me I can turn the lights back on. Please, no, 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 no. Please tell me I can turn the lights back on. Dude, turn. Oh my god, why would you do that? Dude, you just, why would you turn the lights on? Oh my god.
Jeremy. the body you want to do she says something about a bunch of eyes in the paper Dude. hi guys let's move today alone the dark part two this one was really interesting we got a lot of stuff done we explored another one of Jeremy's memories we Fought new people. We turned off the steam in the boiler. We got. We explored more of the manor. We even turned off the electricity, which was really stupid. You should have just turned that bitch on. I would have got the thing, but like, on, 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 turn it on. I would just. I wouldn't have just been like, oh, I'm leaving. Like, <laughs> just leave the lights out. Come on. At least, at least the lights are back on now. Ah, you feel more safe with the lights on than off. Definitely. So I don't know what next. It looks like we still have a decent amount of stuff to do. We met Grace. We met. We still have some more people to meet in this place. We didn't, we, we didn't manage to find Jeremy, but a bunch of eyes popped up on him. Like on the paper, she said something about like 50 eyes and everything. So I wonder if that has something to do with that. This game is really interesting, and I can't wait to see what happens next. And if you're asking me today, like, subscribe, and see you.